Hello, today we're going to review the pressure vacuum breaker assembly test using the Mako MK3 three valve test kit. The first step is to remove the air inlet valve canopy, then slowly open test cock number one. Then close test cock number one. Next, slowly open test cock number two to flush it, then close test cock number two. We'll attach a bleed off valve arrangement or compensating valve to test cock number one. And next we'll ready our gauge. First, power on the MK3 by pressing and holding the power button. Toggle the backlight on if you desire. Press and hold the back button to clear saved values. I also opened the high and bypass valves to remove the residual water. Close all the Mako kit valves. Connect the hose from the high side of the MK3 to test cock number two. Slowly open test cock number two. Open the bypass valve on the MK3. Then open the high control valve to bleed air from the hose in the gauge. Close the high control valve. Close shutoff valve number two. Elevate the gauge and maintain the rate of change graph to be level with the air inlet valve. Close shutoff valve number one. Open the high control valve no more than a quarter turn. Please note with the Mako gauge, you don't have to look two places at once. Keep your eyes squarely on the air inlet valve and ready your finger over the capture button so that you can press the capture button the moment the air inlet valve opens. Let's give that another look. Close the high control valve. Remove the hose from test cock number two and allow water to fully drain from the body. Verify and record that the air inlet valve has fully opened, then close test cock number two. Slowly open shutoff valve number one. Then connect the hose from the MK3 to the bleed off valve arrangement on test cock number one. Slowly open test cock number one. Once again, we'll open the high control valve to bleed air from the hose in the gauge. Close the high control valve. Next, we need to lower the MK3 so that the rate of change graph is level with test cock number two. Close shutoff valve number one. Then slowly open test cock number two. Once again, we'll wait for the test cock to stop discharging water. And once it has or is no more than a drip, and the reading on the gauge is stable, press the capture button to record the pressure differential across the check valve. Close test cock number two. Close test cock number one. Remove the hose from the bleed off valve arrangement. Then remove the bleed off valve arrangement. Slowly open shut off valves number one and two. Replace the air inlet valve canopy. And that concludes the pressure vacuum breaker assembly test.